Warning, this review may uh, be offensive. Unplanned, a movie about a, well, it's a Christian movie that was about uh, a woman who used to work for her Planned Parenthood and then left it when she had a traumatic experience there. The acting was subpar, except for the uh, guy who played the lawyer at the end. I uh, quite enjoyed him and thought he was funny. The score, I enjoyed. I liked it. I liked the score, the uh, music, the talking. It was either hit or miss, like most religious music is with me. Because I'm the kind of person that can listen to anything except for, you know, spank that stanky hoe, uh, rape that bitch, and that kind of stuff. Because I don't really want to listen to that kind of music. And... uh, a funny, on a funny note, this movie's an hour and 40 minutes long. For the first hour, until she switches sides, Planned Parenthood is not shown poorly. They are shown like any other business, because they are a business. And they're not shown in a bad light. It's not like I was expecting it to be, you know, them being strictly evil every time. Because the only evil person that they showed there is the boss at the end. And obviously you're going to be pissed when your best employee quits on you. He spent eight years training. And, you know, their business, uh, it's like uh, they're saying how it's uh, false that they try to... uh, sell, try try to sell abortions and that, when, no, if a woman goes in there and she doesn't want it, they'll try to, they'll try to get her to buy it, because obviously that's what they sell, that's something they sell, and it's like, a bad reference would be, I went to FYE the other day and I bought a dollar fifty pop. They wanted, the person behind the counter tried to sell me their car, tried to sell me three magazines, I didn't want that. All places that sell things are want to try to sell you more. And yes, for abortions, Planned Parenthood is a good, better option than the hospitals because hospitals will charge you a couple grand just to see the doctor. There, it's what the, the prices they use was seven hundred bucks. If it had to be done, I'd rather spend seven hundred than two thousand. Just saying. That's plus. They uh, showed that even in a even during a crisis, because they showed all the different types of uh, abortions that they do, you know the medical one, the medically induced one, which they take the pill, the one where they actually go in there, but it's not that bad, and then they showed one where the girl had a horrible reaction to it. But they didn't need to, and yes, they didn't want to call the ambulance because of bad PR and everything. But why did they need to call an ambulance? They have a doctor. They have a board-certified surgeon standing right in the same room. You don't need to call the ambulance. So that was stupid on the girl that made this movie's part and and wrote the book and whatever else. Because you have a doctor literally sitting there, standing there by the girl's feet. Let him work. Let him do his job. And the funny thing is, the per- the people that made the movie, the Christians are actually seen in a worse light than the people that they were trying to show how bad they are. Because it shows the uh, nutty ones who, uh, you know, the crazy Christians who throw things at the people, at the women trying to get abortions and go into the clinic for the other, for the free stuff, for the, not the free stuff, the n- nothing's free, for the other things they do, like the cheaper birth control and all that kind of stuff. And now the engine's going to kick off. Show the, uh, and when they talked and they're talking about their praying and everything, that's how I can still tell that I may be slightly on the conservative side, but I am definitely not with them 100% because their stuff just sounded stupid to me. All the words they were talking, it sounded hilariously bad at some points. That could have just been the writing, but when you deal with some of these people sometimes, like the ones who are the fundamentalists and the ones who really go into it, yeah, 
And for the people who, uh, yeah, this movie's not, this movie should have been rated R. I completely agree. PG thirteen at best, because I've seen worse in rated R films. They do cutaways. And it's mostly just blood. It's the, uh, obviously, because they're showing how abortions are done. No matter what your side of it is, there's going to be blood. No matter if you're pro-choice or pro-life, there's going to be blood if you do it. If you show it. And, yeah, I can see how it could offend people. I wasn't buying the whole, because if you look at Letterboxd, everybody's review for this movie, or at least the top ones, are how this movie's just propaganda garbage, how they're horrible, this movie's even made. When, you know, up until she switches, I was thinking, nah, I don't see it at all. Because, as I said, even after she switches and they uh, show how the, uh, and he even goes to court, like, if you cut the last, like, 10 minutes of the movie. Because, you know you know what? Here's a spoiler alert. They end up closing the uh, thing, and it's like, oh, we won because they closed their clinic. No, ha- in the middle of the movie, when she gets in trouble for questioning about not want, want she's fine with the abortion, but she doesn't want to do uh, third trimester abortions. She's against those. And she questions why we want to do this, and why you uh, want us to... Uh, pressure these people into doing it, you know, why you, why you want us to upsell, even though she did upsell, but the, uh, you know, she spoke out of turn, I can see why they got angry at that, I lost my train of thought, because I was paying attention to a, a construction vehicle outside, sorry about that, oh yeah, the propaganda thing, even when they show, uh, the pro-life, not pro-life, the uh, Planned Parenthood, PNP, that's how I got confused, in a, quote, bad light, not really a bad light, she's just having a proper reaction to someone hurting your business. It is, for frontmost, a business. She says it herself how, you know, it pays their salary, pays their 401k, pays for their four-week paid vacations. So... If someone's attacking your livelihood, you're going to defend yourself. And one of their best people going out there and telling, trying to get people to stop going there would affect it. And oh, that's, what, that's what I was talking about. The, uh, they say right in the middle of it, when she uh, first gets uh, starts to question Planned Parenthood, that they're opening a newer, better facility... That could house, house more doctors, better uh, medical and everything. So obviously, why would they keep the little clinic if they built the bigger one? So yes, her tiny clinic closed, but they're, they're still as strong as ever. Sorry about that, I'm still sick. I had to take a drink. They're still going strong. A lot of Americans, because that's the country they're in and that's the country they evolve around, are still pro-choice. I'm not going to bring up what I am, because, hey, who really cares? And especially, who would give a sh- what a guy thinks? Women are the one that carry the baby. Uh, the movie, I'd give it like a... Either a D plus or a C negative. I don't think I'd ever watch it again. Uh, I might listen to the soundtrack for the score part, like I said. Uh, it's definitely not as bad as everybody is saying it is. I don't know what the reviewers were saying it is, because only I know that, because usually I don't look at the reviews, but I looked for the poster because I couldn't really find a, a good one. And I figured I'd just do the banner, like this thing, for the review for the movie review. So, uh, what do you think about the movie? If you've seen it, comment down below. Uh, please don't turn it into some political thing down there. Even though I don't, even though I usually at most only get like ten comments. Uh, 
If you if there's a movie you would like me to review that I haven't, uh, drop a comment down below. I'll review it for you. Why not? I'll start adding that to the end of every video. Uh, if there's a movie you want me to review, just comment down below and I'll add it to the list. Other than that, have a good one.